Hello, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to go over the iOS 9 release for the iPad, particularly the much anticipated multitasking capabilities that people have been screaming about since 2014. Let's dive in and see the rumors turn into reality. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the new task switcher. So if you double tap the home button, it brings up the task switcher, which looks different than what we have on the iOS 8. So here's my iOS 8 iPhone 6. If I double tap on the home screen, this is in fact my task switcher that looks nothing like what we have on the iOS 9 now. But this is not the exciting part. The exciting part is the multitasking features that we have on the iPad Air 2 on iOS 9. So let's all launch any application. Let's launch Safari. And what we can do here is we can do a slide over. So we slide in an application from the side. And if you want to change the application that you just slid over, you can simply slide from the top and that brings the application view okay so from here you can pick any application that you want let's uh, pick notes okay and if, let's say you, you you're done working with notes you swipe that down and you go back to clock okay and then just one thing to understand here is when you do a slide over the window over here is not active so if I tap here the slide over disappears what if I want to work on both applications at the same time? Now that's when you tap on the separator right over here and that activates both screens and you can also resize them by sliding this separator back and forth. So let's do a 50-50 split screen multitasking. There we go. So now I can work on this screen right over here. Oops. I can work on this screen right over here and I can work on this screen independent of each other. Additionally, I can go back to the slide over view. So if I retap the separator over here, it's going to take me back to the slide over view and I can slide this guy away. Okay, now slide it over. Remember, this is not active. So if I tap it, that disappears. If I want to make them both active, I tap the separator over here. Now we have active windows on both sides and we can resize them as we please. So that's 50 50 split screen multitasking both windows fully active now another thing I can do over here is I can let's say I'm done using the Safari browser and I want to uh, work on my alarms right I can simply swipe Safari away and the clock becomes the full screen app that you can fully interact with let me just demonstrate that one more time because it works both ways so if I bring up the slide slide over let's pull up the calendar tap on the separator and now we're doing split screen multitasking and let's say I'm done with the calendar I can simply swipe that away just like that and now clock application is my main application now in multitasking you can do more than simply split screen work so you can actually have your applications interact with each other and it's very contextual so let me show you what I'm talking about let's uh, launch the notes application and here's a note it's www.google.com and let's say I want to go to that website and let's say I was doing multitasking using Safari so let me just bring that right over so here's a Safari and again if you pull from the top you can pick any one of these applications let's just pick Safari right now let's uh, activate split screen view by tapping the separator and do a 50 50 okay and let's say that I want to go to google.com right now uh, tap and hold on the link and click open and as you can see that opens a brand new link in Safari which is sitting right next to it now I just want to clarify something very important the slide over feature and the split screen multitasking are two different features okay so if I bring up Safari let me just get rid of that I can do a slide over just like this so the Safari becomes inactive and I can play with apps over here for quick glances perhaps when I'm done I tap on Safari and that slide over disappears so that's one feature now when I pull the slide over and when I tap the separator now we're doing split screen multitasking right and we can change the size of the screen now just remember the reason I made the differentiation so clear is because this is only available on iPad Air 2 okay the slide over feature is available on iPad Air 1, 2, iPad Mini 2, and iPad Mini 3.
just remember that. So when you grab your iPad Air and you grab iOS 9, you're not going to get this. I do not want to see comments below asking me this question saying, why can't I do this on my iPad Air 1? I just told you why. It's not available, okay? So this is only available on iPad Air 2. But the, uh, the, the, the slide over is available on 1, 2, iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini 3. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Subscribe to Saki Tech for more iOS 9 updates. Also, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me everywhere you can for updates, and I'll see you guys the next time.